All right, you entrepreneur, you know something big is churning up right now. We've got ChatGPT, we've got Google now announcing Bard, and they're competing with each other in the search engine. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to do something here unusual. You're not going to see elsewhere. You're going to let ChatGPT talk to us about Google Bard. That's right. We're going to do that. Hi, I'm Terry Brock, your guide here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, where we help you as an entrepreneur really get the answers you need. And this is going to be important because what we're looking at right now is a whole new world of how we're looking at search. It is amazing and it's changing very fast. I mean, real rap. We've seen the world changing before. Now it's even faster. And hey, that's pretty good. Well, that's why I wanted to put this together to take a look at ChatGPT versus Google Bard and which one you should use. Or maybe it's not either or. Maybe it's one of those both and situations. And that's a good thing. So here's what I did. I went over to ChatGPT. And at ChatGPT, I plugged in the phrase of what are the benefits of Google Bard? Okay, let's ask ChatGPT itself what it thinks about Google Bard. Well, okay, we got the results here on ChatGPT, but what I wanted to do is for you, make it a little bit easier. So I brought it over into Google Docs, clean it up, spiff it up a little bit, do some spit polish on there, make sure it's looking good. And we got ChatGPT talks to me about Google Bard and what's going on. So I asked the question, okay, who can benefit from Google's Bard? And actually I should have put an apostrophe in there. Let's put that right now, just for you. There we go, put it in there. Okay, Google's Bard. Well, Google Bard has the ability to make make complex subjects simple, which can be used to benefit students and other learners. Well, when they say students and other learners, I kind of like that idea because, hey, we're all learners for life, or you better be. So the idea of being a lifelong learner, I think, is important, and we're going to be able to take a look at that and see what they say on this. And one of the things I like about it, as it says here, you know, if we look at it, how does Google Bard work? As mentioned by CEO Sundar Pichai in the blog post, Bard draws information from the web to provide fresh and high quality responses. Fresh and high quality responses. I think that's important because you see, when you look at that, you're looking at something that is fresh and that's what we're going to get from Google. And here's a real advantage of using Google Bard. It's showing you current information. Google is the standard. We know they've got something like 93, 94% of all searches out there, which is quite a bit. They've got that. So they bring that in, which before we did not have with chat GPT. They're working on that right now. And by the time you listen to this, it could be different because they're tying into Bing by using Bing with Microsoft. Soft, they're going to be able to be current. And so that is important. Before, it was only relevant until uh, 1921, 1921, 2021. <laughs> yeah, 2021. We're not in the 1900s anymore. Well, 20, 1991 wouldn't be, or 1921 wouldn't be very current, would it? But using this kind of information that they have with Google, they put the two together and create something that's going to be unique. And actually, you know what's going to happen with all of this? We are going to benefit as consumers because when we have Microsoft and Google behind all of this really pushing hard, it's going to get better and better. But it's going to mean that for you, there are a couple of things that are in, in, in force right now as an, as an entrepreneur. Number one, <clears throat> you got to start working on this. Understand it. You can be left behind with it. But number two, there's enormous possibilities. The possibilities are People are going to be using this now to get a lot more done, to create, and to come up with innovative ways to solve problems. This is what happens throughout history. Innovation comes up, and those who say, oh my, look at this, it's changing. It's not the way that it was. Oh, I long for the good old days. Don't be that person. You want to long for what you can do in the future. And not just long for it, but get in there and take some action, damn it. Get out there and take steps that need to be done to make it happen. That's what you can do and how you can really start getting ahead and looking at it. Well, let's look at some of the other things that it said here. <clears throat> it said the test version of BARD is a standalone utility, but the tool will eventually be integrated into Google search. So you see right now as we're using it, we don't have that. We don't have it right now as I'm recording this today. However, that's going to change rapidly. So check back with us here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs for some of the other features that are available that are coming. So we see that once BARD is finished with its testing phases, it should ultimately be integrated. One of the things I like about this also now that we're seeing more and more with both chat GPT and with Google Bards, they have the references. They show you where they got this. So it's not just pulling in some information at random, but you're getting a chance to see, okay, this is what we saw here in this area. We're seeing this here and here's the reference for it. And that gives you and me the credibility to do a whole lot more. So it goes on to say some really important things. I think in simple words, here we go. Google Bard 
is an AI-powered chatbot that can offer answers to many queries in a conversational way. Conversational is critical. That means it's easy to use. It's not a matter of understanding just the right words that we need to use in a search, but it's a conversation. And the more you use it, the better it will get at what needs to be done. So it draws that information, a fresh, high-quality response. At its core, Google's chatbot is powered by Lambda. That's the language. Matter of fact, here, I wrote that down, looked it up here. What in the world is Lambda? Well, it is the language model, see a L-A for language, language model for dialogue applications. What does that mean? Well, okay, it's a language thing. We're talking back and forth in a language, and it's for dialogue, talking back and forth, applications. That means getting the job done. And I like that. It's really nice. And it's a model built on a transformer, a neural network. So in other words, this is a way for us to really start seeing some creative uses for developing what we need. Further outlining its capabilities, it goes on here and talk. Google said that BARD will be able to help explain new discoveries from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine-year-old and learn about the learn more about the best. And that's interesting. By the way, when they did a recent uh, demonstration of that, Google had a few errors. I noticed a lot of the journalists out there, a lot of the folks like me, hey, I'm a journalist, go, oh, oh, see, they got it wrong. Well, they had a little minor thing wrong with it. Yeah. But we're learning to say, oh, no, no, you got this wrong. That's bad. I think we ought to say, wait a minute, you got it wrong? It was a mistake. Hey, you stumbled a little bit. Get back up and go at it again. So some good things are happening here. This is changing. What does that mean for you and me? Well, I think as we step back and look at the bigger picture, there's a whole new world out there. You as an entrepreneur, I want you to put on those antennas right now to listen and learn. Be out there, grow bigger ears, as my buddy Chris Brogan says. You want to grow bigger ears, listen more, listen more intently, and listen more finding out what's going on because there's opportunities that are going to be there. There's tools that are available that are uh, available now with Google, not just on their BARD unit. By the way, don't you just love that bard kind of reference to Shakespeare? I like that. And it's showing other ways they can use their images, their lens program. So you can use pictures and use augmented reality. We're going to be talking about that more here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe here so you'll get the best of what's coming out as it comes out. And we would appreciate you liking this so you can share it with others. That way it'll tell the algorithms, hey, this is what we want. So what we're seeing right now is a whole new way of doing our business. The opportunities are incredible, and you want to tap into that right away. This is what we're doing here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs with a live and let live philosophy. The idea of we embrace the non-aggression principle, NAP we call it. That means you do whatever you want to do, you don't harm others, and you don't take their stuff. So we do that in a very peaceful way. This is how we do it. My closing thoughts are, you've now got some great opportunities to move ahead. Realize this is a game changer. Stop. Get yourself, you know, oriented here. We have to do that every so often as entrepreneurs and say, all right, we're ready to move forward. We're ready to start doing things in a big way. And so we'd love you to stay in touch with us. Come on over and see us at StarkRavingEntrepreneurs.com. You'll find the information there that you need so that you can get going. And also watch these videos that we're going to point out here that you're going to see right here where I am right now in just a bit. You're going to see some, some videos that can help you to further your knowledge and learn more. I'm Terry Brock. Thank you so much for joining us today.